Mexico Beach's city administrator during Hurricane Michael, Tanya Castro, evacuated at 3 a.m. the morning of the storm. We made it as far as Tallahassee, um, and just uh, the next few days, honestly, is a blur. When she returned to Mexico Beach, she was shocked. Leon County Sheriff's Department flew me in um, on their helicopter, which just seeing it, um, the aerial view, and being able to assess and see where most of the damage was, it was, it was helpful. Because once you got on the ground, you couldn't really make heads or tails where you were. Um, you know, you, there were no landmarks, street signs, everything was gone, everything it was different. The town lost 70% of their structures in the storm. We talked to people in the National Guard that have been out here on the ground dealing with this, and they said they'll see some homes, and they look at the homes, and they don't think the damage is that bad but then they start to look and realize the whole home was torn off the foundation and pushed back. So the damage here is going to be nearly completely everything out here has some kind of damage. And the rebuilding process has been slow. We're 10 months in and we haven't rebuilt a thing except for our dunes um, because we've st we're still cleaning up debris and um, dredging and getting all the sediment out of the canal. Uh, but we're wrapping that up, and now the fun part is going to uh, start with actual rebuild. Uh. When we spoke with Castro in August, she told us the town has projects in the works, and she is excited, even though things aren't easy. She estimated Mexico Beach only has about 400 permanent residents. It's hard, and financially it's hard. Uh, just the debris cleanup is about $29 million. And we've got another 30 million in the dredging operations, cleaning all the, the debris out of our waterways. We have about three and a half million dollars so far in donated resources. For News 13, Michelle Kaufman, Panhandle Strong.